dear friends, sisters, and brothers, welcome to a meditation on one of my most favorite psalms. I sang this 62 years ago in the early stages when a French Jesuit created psalm tones for the Psalter, the Book of Psalms. In Psalm 139, we used to sing, and it's really one of my favorites. I'm going to sing it with you. I'm going to sing it uh, together and sing it by myself, but I'm going to sing it with all of my heart. You may have noticed in the beginning of this uh, video, I have a couple of questions. However close you feel you are to your very self, however much you are aware of your existence, ever more so is God intimately aware of who you are. For the Holy Spirit is breathing God's very life into you. So there's the question. When we think about yourself, what else is involved in the thoughts about yourself? Is it not God, your creator, your redeemer, your savior, your lover, the one who is breathing the Holy Spirit inside you so that your very consciousness right now, whether your body's in good shape or not, it doesn't matter. If you're conscious, then God, God's self is the one who is the source of your very consciousness. So this intimacy that God has with us is going to be what we'll explore in Psalm 139. But for a moment, let's just become still for half a minute to feel nothing but your own existence in the silence with the awareness that it is the Lord God who is giving you the light to see who you are. Here is the fire starter, which I entitled Weavings in the Womb. This was written many years ago, someday in the end of the 1990s, 97, 98, somewhere in through there when I was creating these fire starters. So they give the time frame for what was in my awareness when I wrote this fire starter. As I write, I sit in a dimly lit hospital room with my daughter, Laura, and her boy, Richie. He rests quietly while undergoing a brain scan. I recall that other day in 1987 when I was with Laura, who was about to give birth to him. I gaze at the long, slender body of my grandson scanning the years from birth to this moment, admiring the constancy of God's gift that has continued the stitching of his body and his life long after the initial weaving was completed in Laura's womb. It is a perfect setting to pray and write about Psalm 139, a piece that breathes the awesome wonder of the sacred writer as he contemplates his own being and praises his all-knowing and ever-present God. The psalmist hands you a sacred thread. Pick it up and let wonder weave itself within you as steadily and as permanently as the weaving of yesterday's woman 
in Proverbs. This is the Bible through the season. Yesterday, we were reading Proverbs 30, and I make a brief reference to the at the end of this fire starter. Wednesday are the, is the day for the Psalms. And so we take this moment to ponder the Psalm. What I'd like to invite you to do is to sing along with me this refrain to the Psalm. I'll sing it, and then we'll sing it together, and then I will put the words up along with my voice singing this psalm that, again, goes back 62 years. Your hand is ever upon me. You lead me and hold me fast. Sing it with me. Your hand is ever upon me. You lead me and hold me fast. Here now is this wonderful, wonderful psalm. The first 16 verses. O oh Lord, you search me and you know me. You know my resting and my rising. You discern my purpose from afar. You mark when I walk or lie down. All my ways lie open to you. Before ever a word is on my tongue, you know it, O oh Lord, through and through. Behind and before you beseech me, your hand ever laid upon me. Too wonderful for me this knowledge, too high beyond my reach. Oh, where can I go from your spirit? Or where can I flee from your face? If I climb the heavens, you are there. If I lie in the grave, you are there. If I take the wings of the dawn and dwell at the sea's furthest end, even there your hand would lead me. Your right hand would hold me fast. If I say, let the darkness hide me, and the light around me be night, even darkness is not dark for you, and the night is as clear as the day, for it was you created my being, knit me together in my mother's womb. I thank you for the wonder of my being, for the wonders of all your creation. Already you knew my soul, and my body held no secret from you. When I was being fashioned in secret and molded in the depths of the earth, your eyes saw all my actions. They were all of them written in your book. Every one of my days was decreed before one of them came into being. We come now to the final verses of this psalm from the Revised Standard Version, an updated edition, beginning with verse 17. How weighty to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! I tried to count them. They are more than the sand. I come to the end, I am still with you. 
Oh, that you would kill the wicked, O God, and that the bloodthirsty would depart from me. Those who speak of you maliciously and lift themselves up against you for evil. Do I not hate those who hate you, O Lord? And do I not loathe those who rise up against you? I hate them with perfect hatred. I count them my enemies. Notice this change. Somehow the great anger of the psalmist rises to the fore, and he expresses it always in the presence of God. We saw that last week in Psalm 138, when the psalmist talking about dashing the enemy's kids' heads against a rock. But then it ends in a positive note with that psalm, as it does with this one. So take it as you can go to God with whatever feelings you have. When you're surrounded in prayer, then you leave it in God's hands. What's God going to do? And you've left your anger in God's hands. Because then notice the very end of these, the last two verses, the psalmist writes and sings, Search me, O God, and know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. See if there is any wicked way in me and lead me in the way of everlasting. So we close this meditation. It's been a delight for me to share this with you after so many years of contemplating this psalm and distilling it in the presence of the song, the psalmody of Joseph Gelino, and also to just uplift also in that uh, refrain your hand is ever upon me, you lead me and hold me fast by a very, very revered uh, Benedictine monk who was an organist and just loved bringing the word of God to new ways. So I leave you with his antiphon, his refrain. Your hand is ever upon me, you lead me and hold me fast. Your hand, O oh God, is ever upon you, my brother and my sister. He leads you and holds you fast. The blessing of God.